in front of me. I got a Ford Focus SE headlights. This is a 15 and up. And with this headlights, I will ret retrofit them with LED, by LED projectors. And they would look something like the left side, which I already did. I installed the, this uh, reflector part and the LED, by LED. Uh, which, what I like about this projector is uh, it has CAN bus built in. So basically, uh, when you put an LED inside a, a halogen headlight, it shows a bulb out. But with this projector, it's not. So they work perfectly without any wire harness. So this is how the new looks. And this is how the old looks. Also, it only works with the regular base headlights. It doesn't work with the ones that have a LED D DRL right around there. So it only works with the regular headlights, this projector kit. To remove the lights, there's two screws. One in front, one in the back, and using the T30 Torx screwdriver or bit, unscrew it. To remove the headlight, pop this thing up, there's a little clip, and then pull it out, slowly, and there's a plug on the bottom, you pull up on here, and pull the plug out, and the headlight comes out using the Harbor Freight heat gun on high, I heat the headlight all the way around for 10 minutes. Make sure you don't stop in one area too long or you'll burn the lens or the housing. Our goal is to separate the outside lip from the lens. There's no way to separate the inside, but only outside. So you take a flathead screwdriver like this and you push it down and just separate it. If you look at it closely, it's separating. So your goal is to go all the way around the headlight and separate the glue. I'll skip this section. So your goal is just to go all the way around and I'll show you when it's done. I loosened the outside edge all the way around. As you can see the outside on the top too. It's loosed. So now what we'll do is we'll heat it up for another 10 minutes using the heat gun and I'll try to pry it apart this time. The reason why we heat it up for the second time, there's a two to five minutes window after you heat up the sperm seal glue. So even though it's hot after five minutes, it's not hot enough to be pried. So that's why we heat it up for another 10 minutes. Let's give it a try. Make sure you don't, don't bend the plastic too much. Play with it slowly. Go all the way around, loosen it. Okay, now take your paint scraper. I use Titan. There's other ones. As long as it's thick and it's not bendable, anyone will work from Walmart or Home Depot and put it in and start working it out. Go pry it open like that. Now, the lens will not come out this way because the bezel inside does not allow it. So your goal is to remove it this way or go as far as you can to the front just to get it loose. So we'll get it as far to the front as possible just to loosen it. So you don't want to bend the plastic. Don't overdo it. So if it doesn't want to do it, don't force it. So let's go on the top. We'll try to remove from here. So that's loose. Let's try it. It looks like this part right here is holding it. So slowly remove it. Loosen, I mean. Careful, it's easy to bend this plastic. So careful around that area. So we'll try and loosen from the upper part. See how much we could do here. So your goal is don't pry the screwdriver this way, just turn it clockwise.
and this tab is holding it. So we'll have to get another bit. I like to use a bit, put it under the tab so I don't break the tab. Like so. Loosen it and it holds it in place. As you can see, this end is loose. So careful, all oh, look all around the tabs. Make sure you don't break it. Pops out. And the lens is out. Next step, we'll remove this bezel. There's three screws on the bottom. One right here, here, and here. They're all T10 Torx. And then there's three parts that it holds. It holds right here, right here, and right here. So at uh, any time you handle in chrome, don't do not touch it with your finger, even if you have gloves on, because the chrome is not protected. There's no nothing, no clear coat on top of it, nothing. You could easily wipe it off. So this one right here is still is still holding by the original glue, as you can see, for the permaseal glue. So. Get them loose. There you go. And it pops out like that. And put it on the side. Now we'll have to remove this factory low and high beam reflector. I use a regular needle nose pliers. And what you do is you put your needle nose plier inside here and close it. And then pull it out. Uh, push it out. Pull this one out too, like that. And then the bottom one, it just comes out because it's holding. It just pull it up. Now all the wiring we gotta remove. This is the low beam H1. So just unplug that. This is the this is the marker light. We'll just pull that one. And this is the high beam. The high beam. There's a clipper here, you press it down, you press this clip down, and it, the bolt should pop, pop out, and the reflector comes out. Right now we'll be cleaning the glue from inside the grooves. To remove the glue, you'll still have to heat it up again, and I like to heat it uh, to remove in patches. So for now, I'll, I'll, I'll heat up this patch, so you go like six times. And take a screwdriver and your goal is to start prying the edges off the glue off the edges first do the same thing to the bottom part slowly don't pull it too tight, too uh, too roughly, and it breaks. So your goal is to go all the way. So as you can see, this part right here is already clean. So your goal is to play around all the way around and get it all off. The glue is all cleaned up. Took a took about an hour to clean this whole glue, and this is all the left pieces. In the problem, with this one usually with Ford it could take it off in big pieces like that but this one for some reason would break in small pieces so it took longer than usual it usually takes about 45 minutes and this one took an hour we got this kit it comes with a high beam and this portion for the projector this is designed for G5 projectors which is uh, what this is designed for but I end up using this LED and it mounts right on as you can see, and it's a bi LED. This projector uses a cam bus, so it works perfectly with four focus cam bus system. So when the, it shows the light out uh, on a dashboard, this thing cancels it. And another thing is, I am already soldered the plugs for the low beam. This is the low beam, and this is the high beam. So I use the uh, a female for the low beam and male for the high beam. So that way, I don't, I don't. 
confuse them between each other. So let's plug the bulbs. So we'll start with the low beam. So we'll plug it in to the original low beam socket. Just plugs in like that. Nothing special. Also, right here, I soldered the high beam. There. So this is the original high beam bulb, H1. And I soldered it in a H1 female connector, which plugs to these um, high beam, to the projector high beam. And just plugs in like that. Let's, let's plug in. So you plug in this marker light, just push it in. Like so, this high beam, and plug it in. This whole thing is plugged in, ready to plug and play. I'll put this wire over the projector like this. So it should hold, and then this one right here, I'll open the back gate, feed the wire outside, and we'll install this. So we'll install this, this bottom clip right here. It goes on this uh, adjuster, the up and down adjuster. Just pushes it down like that. Then the outside clip, the upper clip, they just plug in. Let me grab a screwdriver because it's hard to push in here. I mean, this clips on like that and this one also clips in like that now we'll be putting this Modimoto retro rubber inside these grooves this is the new butyl sealant the reason why I like to use the sealant because you're able to heat it up unlike the original perma seal which takes a little long time to remove and then start installing inside this groove If it doesn't fit, I like to stretch it out and it fits like that. So now we got all the glue all around inside the groove to install this chrome bezel. I always grab it, don't hold it by the chrome part. So, and I'll grab it from the bottom end, like so. Align, make sure everything aligns. This way here, it's not aligning, so align anything that is missing. There you go. Now with the grooves all aligning, it's time to put the screws back on. Before we install the headlight lens, I like to use this vac duster, electric duster, and blow any dust off the inside of the housing. Next step, I'll install the lens on the cold glue without heating it first. We'll install it, align it, and then make sure everything matches and then we'll heat it up and close it. Looking nicely so far. This, this one's not matching, there you go. That's why I don't like to heat it up because I'm able to make adjustments. When it's hot, it gets all sticky, this butyl sealing, and it doesn't, it can't make adjustments like this one over here. There you go. Make sure everything matches, goes inside the grooves. This one's off a bit, but no problem. Okay, that's good. Everything matches, make sure everything's aligning. And now we'll heat it up for about five to 10 minutes, no more. All right. 10 minutes later, your goal is to push this whole thing in. Make sure it clips inside the clip. Push it down all the way. Uh, the glue's hot, so careful. This extra glue, extra is good. You could always take it off. Not enough is not good. Click the bottom clips to make sure they match. As you can see, 
that have to clip in like this. That's when you know you have a good fit. There's another one right here. So you got two on the bottom, two clips and three on the top. And they all have to be clipped in. That's it, the headlight's done. I cleaned the glue on the top as you can see. See, get a better view. The glue is gone. You could able to you are, you are able to see the tabs that they're holding back in place without the glue. Before with the glue on, you couldn't see it, but now I'm for sure that the headlight lens is holding. The bottom end, the bottom end's good also. I didn't clean the extra glue in the bottom because it's the bottom of the headlight. Nobody's gonna see that part. Extra glue is always good. I know for sure it's not gonna leak. And that's how you retrofit a Ford Focus headlight with that LED, actually buy LED projectors. If you guys are interested, I could make this kit uh, for sale. Uh, as for now, oh yeah, uh, let me show you guys the back end. The back end is pretty much plug and play. The projector sticks out just enough. This wire harness goes inside like, like so. And then you take the original grommet, so nothing had to be cut. Just take the original grommet and install it back on. And you'll have a waterproof headlight and the original seal fit right in without any problem. The only thing you do right now is just plug in the original plug and it's a plug and play.